Oh, hello. Welcome once again to Stuff in These Plays. I'm your good friend, Bradley. That is our good friend, Link, rematerializing after transporting himself from uh, Lookout Landing, where we were talking to Hestu and getting some more inventory slots. I have found the shrine that was near... Is that a thing? Uh, that was near the... What is everything called? The Dueling Peaks Stable. And now we are looking over Dueling Peaks Stable. We haven't really explored Dueling Peaks Stable, but we can see these planes. I remember these very well from Breath of the Wild, running around, trying to capture horses. There's the road over there that I think goes to Kakariko, because we had the mission in Breath of the Wild to go find Impa. And I think that's the road that brings us there. I don't know which tower. Where is a tower? There's got to be a tower around here. There's a tower. Is this the tower for this region? Let's mark it. Uh, now let's look at our map. That is not. Where is the tower for this region? It must be over here somewhere. I don't see it, but what is that? What the heck is that? That must be the regional phenomena, maybe? Interesting. For the Zora, man, and it looks like from these Dueling Peak Mountains, we can actually get up to a Sky Island. There's a lot going on around here. It looks cool. Now it's raining. <sighs> Let's jump down and see what we can do. It's only 4.25 in the morning, but we'll see what Pen is up to. We'll see what the other uh, stable denizens are up to, and then maybe we'll hit the road and try to make it to Kakariko. I don't want to get wet. Hard to hear anything over the rain, says Cloyne. Oops, excuse me. Haven't seen your mug before. You new around here? Listen, I got a proposition for you. Involves taking care of some no-good pirates. What do you say? Feeling brave? Pirates? <laughs> I'm only kidding. A skinny little guy like you? You'd be a goner before you got out your sword. <laughs> The pirates I'm talking about, they're nasty characters, attacked Lurland Village on the coast south of here. That place was my home until the pirates forced me out. A peaceful village, blessed by the sea. That's what it used to be. Okay, Cloyne. Yeah, we've heard before that the pirates have taken over Lurland Village. And that was a place I remember vaguely from Breath of the Wild. It was like a neat tropical place. What are you up to? Stam. Uh, hello, you're a traveler, aren't you? But I guess we're all travelers, aren't we? In one way or another. Ha ha. You haven't by chance heard about a legendary pumpkin, have you? All I know is that it is, or was, hidden deep in the woods somewhere, and that it can defeat any monster you feed it to. So you don't know what I'm talking about. Ha! Figures. I need to get to the bottom of this, one way or another. Is it true that there's a brave hero who wields the pumpkin? That he harvested it from deep within a forest somewhere? Or that the flavor is powerful enough to defeat any monster, no matter how strong its stomach? These are my unanswered questions surrounding the legendary pumpkin called the Master Gourd. I think he's got his facts a little bit twisted. But everyone I ask about it looks at me like I'm talking nonsense. Maybe I was fed some bad info. The Master Gourd. Fantastic. All right, let's take a look around. I already went down the well here. There was some stuff down there. Nothing that exciting, but there was some stuff. I'm going to put it to you straight. There were things in there. Let's go over here. Little children. I saw them too. Footprints. Okay. Darton. Interesting. Maybe we're going to need to sleep. Or people should be waking up soon, I think. What are you reading about in the paper? Whoa. What's the Lucky Clover Gazette covering in this edition? Oh. oh, there's an update on the unexpected equine escape from Snowfield stable story from earlier. Princess Zelda's favorite horse has been recovered without incident. We did that. The cause of its flight remains unknown. Oh, I'm so relieved to read that. I was worried for that poor horse wandering the snowy wilds all alone. But what made it run off in the first place? The article doesn't even speculate. I always read every word of these newspapers. It's cool that we can do things in the world and then we get read about or written about and then read about later. What about other stories? Aww. Blood moon brings dangerous nights. Be wary, dear readers. On nights when a blood moon rises, so too do monsters that have been defeated. Mm. Huh. This reminds me of that researcher who was studying the blood moon before. They were excited to visit a monster fort and see what they could learn about monsters in the blood moon. But they didn't seem all that physically strong. I hope they're doing okay. Mm. I always read every word in these newspapers. Okay, why are we using mm. they pronouns for the researcher? We know it's a man. We have met him. Okay. Um, I don't know if these little munchkins are going to wake up or not. It seems like maybe they have a side quest. They're talking about stuff in their sleep. Let's see if we nudge this one. 
footprints. Talking about footprints. It's 5.30. Get up, kids. I'm always up by 5.30. Uh, and where is Pen? 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 Where is Pen? He's always here. Or he's always at the stables. Let's look at our adventure log for the Lucky Clover Gazette. This would be, I guess, side adventures? Potent potential princess sightings. Oh, do we have to go back to the Lucky Clover Gazette? Let's take a look. Uh, maybe we've done enough that we need to go back. Huh. That's something to bear in mind. We might go back and pay a visit to the Lucky Clover and see if there's anything going on there. Pen does not seem to be arriving here, which is interesting. What the hell? Is there a whizrobe over there? Why is there a whizrobe over there? So close to the town. Or not the town, but the, the thing. The, the stable words. Okay. These kids up yet? Jeez, wake up, kid. <sighs> wake up. I don't think he's going to wake up. What if we climb this? Can I climb this? <sighs> it's 6.30. They're not waking up. I guess there aren't any side quests around here. Let's see. We've got so many things that we could do. I think for now, I'm going to get a horse, and we're going to get on the road to Kakariko. Hey! Whoa. Okay, I'm going to take out ah. our beautiful... Keen, the golden horse that we got from Zelda, or not from Zelda, but it was Zelda's horse, and we got it from the last quest at the last stable. Ah. Okay, cool. Oh. Uh, change the bridle. Hmm. Let's put the royal bridle on. Yes, beautiful. Oh. Excellent. Ah. I can't really tell the difference. Let's change the... Uh, let's change equipment. Ah. Let's do the royal saddle. Uh, I kind of like the traveler saddle better. Stable saddle, royal travelers, towing harness. Eh, I mean, it, it matches the horse. We'll put the royal saddle on. Oh. Excellent. Okay, oh. uh, the mane. Do we want to do anything with the mane? Normal, long, mohawk. I like the mohawk. French braid, braided, long red, long blue, long green. Okay, this is interesting. Uh, you know, let's just go all the way. Floral. Beautiful. Oh. Ah. Excellent. Thank ah. you. Oh. Ah. All right. Target somebody. Talk to oh. him. Yada yada. Look out landing. Scuttlebutt. Okay. Let's go. Come on, Keen. Let's go. We're going to follow this road, I believe. I think this is going to get us to Kakariko. Oh, man. Cunts, darn it. Why are you doofuses around here everywhere? Oh, stop. Stop, horse. Stop. I'm going to mark this. We can't do it right now. There's just too much going on. We're just going to put one of these here, and we will know that a Korok is waiting. And maybe someday I'll come back to it. Okay, some more travelers. Are these people of any interest? Need to take shelter. Oh, it's a Gerudo woman. Hello. Savota. Savota. Looking for Kakariko Village? Yes. To get there, you could just cross the bridge and follow the road north. Mm. Everyone is abuzz about the ruins that fell from the sky and landed there. I hear they're highly unusual. All right. That's where we want to go. She read our mind. Let's do it. Okay. I should explore this whole field. I should explore everything I see. Oh, I think the horses will follow the road, by the way. Hey, look at that. Okay. This is it. Yeah. We're going to Kakariko. Uh, which way? Which way? Which way? North? She said cross the bridge and go north. Is this something we should do? Hold on. There's th they're just things. There are things everywhere. So many things. I hope they're okay. Maintenance is crucial. What does this say? Heading east to clean monsters out of our renowned Fort Hatena. Oh yeah, Captain Haas was supposed to be there with the monster control crew. Okay, interesting. I think Fort Hateno is on the way to Kakariko, maybe, if I remember. Hi. Sorry, I'm a little preoccupied to deal with travelers right now. That's what you are, right? A traveler? 
Captain Haas's squad of the Monster Control crew is engaged in a battle to quell the monsters near here. Oh. The fighting should be in full swing at Fort Hateno down the road to the east by now, so I advise keeping your distance. If you're curious how the battle is going, you can go watch, but take care you don't get caught up in the fray. You don't know Link at all, do you? Susanna. Oh, hello. You just passing through? Squab, one of the monster control crew led by Haas, is about to engage with some monsters near here. If you can't hold your own in a fight, I'd advise you to stay away. Okay. Fort Tano, which is to the east along that road. Fantastic. Let's do this. Oh. Thank you for the hasty oh. elixir. squad has got some experience. Yada, yada, yada. Okay. Fort Hateno. So, which way is which way? Is this Kakariko over here and Fort Hateno over here? I mean, we know which way is Fort Hateno, but... Yeah, okay, so... Uh, that's Kakariko over the bridge, Fort Hateno over here. Can I even see it on my map? I don't think so. It's interesting that Kakariko is here. Is this Kakariko? That's Kakariko. Okay. Yeah, and there's the big piece of debris that fell near Kakariko. All right, we're really close to Kakariko, but they want us to go to Fort Hateno and help Haas. I guess we should do it. I guess we should do it. It's going to be cool. Come, Keen. I know you're keen to experience some battle. Okay, follow the road. Follow the road, please. Ooh, it's following the road. Excellent. All right. Walking tree. Ignore that. Let's keep going. We're off to Fort Hateno. Hello. <laughs> Taking some pot shots as we go by. I think we are very close to Fort Hateno now. I wish it would freaking stop raining. It has been raining unendingly. Hey, look, it's the squad. Hey, gang. Stay here, horse. Gang, gang, it's me. It's Link, the swordsman. Haas. I can't remember what voice he had. Link, hello. It's an honor to see you again. We're moving in on a monster base up ahead. They've dug in once again. After we approach, we'll wait for the right moment and then launch our attack. Nothing would make me happier than to have you assist us again. Please join us. We can bring peace back to this land if we work together. All right. Hey, gang. Can you talk to me? I'm getting ready to fight some monsters here. Not a good time to distract me. I have a broom and a bucket. Uh, okay. I'm sorry, but we're in the middle of a mission here. Can the conversation wait until later? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I get it. I get it. I get it. Uh, maybe you should equip your men a little bit better if you're going to fight some monsters. Haas. Hey, look. Hey! Oh, man. I can't use my fire on him because it's raining. How long is this freaking rain going to last? Hello. Let's do a little bit of this. We will go by most use. We'll go muddle bud. And we will shoot that guy. Now he will attack his own men. Which is hilarious. Get him. Muddle butt him. Bam! <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh man, I already broke my freaking weapon. Uh, we still have this, which is pretty good. We have this that's really good. Let's use this, because I think I can still use my shield. Bam! Oh, that's a, that's a freaking silver. That's a silver right there, gang. That's a big one. Gotcha. Oh, whoa, I missed him? What the frick? I thought I got him. Oh, there's another silver. Oh, oh, he's dangerous. He's very dangerous. Holy crap, he's smacking the shit out of me. Okay, uh, we need to get away from here. We need to use something a little different. Our good friend is smacking his ass. We have freaking silver bokoblins already? This is ridiculous. Why do we already have silvers? Okay, he's dead, he's dead. Holy, oh no, that's a black, okay. But still, black. Black is scary. Why do we have black? I'm not even that leveled up. I'll make the captain proud. Okay, we have more black bokoblins. They're all freaking black. Except this one who's blue. Oh, I don't have a shield. I keep thinking I have a shield, but I have a two-handed weapon. <laughs> this is not going well, gang. Uh, how much does that give me? A couple. That gives me too many. 
too many. That's one. Okay, we'll eat that. Okay, leave me alone. Leave me alone. I need to do something. I need to do something very quickly. No, I'm trying to... No, for fuck's sake. Oh, he blocked it. Oh, for fuck's sake. Hit him, Link. Okay, excellent, excellent. One of our dudes is passed out, which is fun. How many more are left? Okay. Gotcha. Okay, that was a little hectic. Victory is ours! Bravo, everyone! Hi. Link, I'm so grateful for everything you did for us. If you don't mind, could you come here for a moment? I did shoot that moblin with a muddle bud, and I think that oh. probably helped a little bit, and I killed a couple of the black bacoblins who were pretty tough, I know. Uh, another incredible battle. With you on our side, Link, we can take on any threat. I nearly forgot. Please accept this reward as a thank you for all your help. Ooh, silver rupee. Thanks, gang. Uh, maybe get some better equipment next time. I guess all the weapons decayed, but still. Of course, the true battle is yet to come. Have you seen it, Link? The Blood Moon, I mean. When it rises in the sky, monsters will flood the land and threaten the peace of Hyrule again. My squad members will rest and rebuild their energy to prepare for its return. Ah, oh, well, I do look forward to fighting by your side once again. May you fight with the goddess Hylia's divine protection, brave swordsman. Yay! Okay, we brought peace to Nekluda. I'd like some equipment or something, like maybe a nice sword or a shield or something cool. I'll grab all this stuff. Black Bacoblin Horn, so I can make some good weapons with this stuff at least. Claymores. Grab stuff. Blue Moblin Horn. Boko Bow. What else we got here? Arrows. Where's all the Moblin stuff? I must have already grabbed it. Hopefully. Because that's good stuff to fuse as well. I don't know if it was a black moblin or not. I couldn't tell. All right. We did it. Excellent. What have we got here? Silent Princess. I dedicate this monument to the memory of the souls lost to the Calamity. Okay. Nice. Oh. Was it this grassy in Fort Titano before? Look at that. I don't remember it being this grassy. Maybe it was, though. So, I don't know if there's anything else we can do in Fort Hateno. We could continue on and try to find Kakariko. Or we could just explore this area and see what's going on. Yeah. You're, you know what we're going to do. We're going to explore. Because that's what we do. That's what the game is all about. That's the name of the game. Let's get up on the wall. Maybe we can peer down and see if anything's going on. Let's see Addison anywhere. I don't really see anything much going on in the fields. There aren't any horses, which is interesting, because this is where you first kind of... Oh, there's one. This is when you first kind of find horses. Oh, my horse. I forgot about that. In uh, Breath of the Wild, and that's where you first learn how to tame them and stuff. See if my horse will find... Oh, shit. Bees. Lots of bees. We'll be safe here. Will we? Will we? Can we? Oh, no. They're still trying to kill me. Okay. That's nice. They're still going to kill me. Okay. Stop it. Jeez Louise. Hey, you made it. Thanks, horse. I'll deal with you later. Okay, what else? There's got to be a Korok in here, right? Faux show. Sure. Yeah, there's another one. Yeah. Run right away. Oh, wow, he's shooting him. Tullin is kind of useful, I have to say. Grab that. Of course, it'd be honey. There's this little cabin. I don't know if this was here when we first played Breath of the Wild. No. Oh. Interesting. Nice. Flint. Apple. 
probably going to get a roasted apple now. Hylian rice. I don't know whose house this is, but we're looting it thoroughly. I guess we'll find out because there's a book. Caleb. There's a journal here with entries signed Caleb. Do you want to read it? Yes. They're calling it the Upheaval. Apt name for it, I'd say. Strange ruins fell from the sky onto the plains west of here, and there are reports of spindly mechanical monsters. This sort of thing is happening all over Hyrule, apparently. I'm fortunate that neither my home, neither I nor my home were harmed, but such an event is sure to have caused major damage elsewhere. The more outlandish rumors suggest that Hyrule Castle has risen into the sky. Rather difficult to credit that one. What could have caused all this? I can feel the desire to find the truth welling up within me. I received a visitor. He was a researcher for some outfit calling themselves the Zonai Survey Team. He claimed to be merely passing through the area, but clearly he had come to draw on my expertise. Caleb. Is Caleb someone we should know from Breath of the Wild? Oops. Damn it. People are calling in the ring runes. I accidentally advanced the text. A great many inquisitive types like me are gathering in Kakariko Village to investigate them. I see little choice but to join them. Without my intellect, they're bound to leap to all the wrong conclusions. The man history will remember as the genius Dr. Caleb shall solve this mystery faster than I can clean my glasses. My preparations are complete. It's time for me to depart for Kakariko Village. I foresee a day not long off when all the members of the survey team address me with respect and by my proper title. I will not return to this house until I am known by all as a doctor, nay, as a genius. This area has long been plagued by monsters, so I will leave this house in good order as a place of refuge. To you travelers who might read what I append here, rest well. You are, of course, welcome to use any of the things I have left behind. Way ahead of you, Dr. Caleb. All right, interesting. So we have a nice little house here. Is there an icon that I could mark as, like, a bed? No, there is not. Uh, I keep using different things all the time, and I won't remember what any of them mean, but I'll put a heart there. Maybe that will mean that I can replenish my hearts by sleeping or something. Maybe that, that makes sense to me somehow. Not sure. Oh, wait a minute. While we're here. Let's see what's on the roof. Maybe a Korok. Korok? Yes, there is. Look at that. Hey, buddy. Oh. Look at that. I knew it. Oh, you found me. Okay, we got a seed. I cashed in most of my seeds recently with Hestu, so... It's good to have some more. Squirrels. Alright, so... I don't know, man. I guess we should go to Kakariko. Doesn't seem like Fort Hateno has much else going on, and it really seems like they're trying to push us in the direction of Kakariko. Oh, there's another one of these dudes. Const, darn it. They're everywhere. I'm just gonna mark this one, too. Hello, little weirdo. Ugh, I'm out of breath. Let's mark this with the leaf. Okay. That's a Korok. I don't even see where the little smoke's coming from. Oh, look, that's a Korok. Boko Bo is badly damaged. <clears throat> hey, there we go. Man, we're just finding Koroks left and right here, gang. Thank you. Excellent. There's an arrow kuda. Boom ba boom ba boom ba boom ba boom ba boom ba boom 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 missed. Okay. Let's get one of these going. I want to use up these shitty bows for now. Alright, I think we're gonna go to Kakariko. Let's call my horse. Did she hear me? She should have. I'm not that far from where she was. Glean or Keen, whatever your name was. Keen? Oh, there's something on top of that. Hold on. Oh, there she comes. Keen! Such a good horse. Good job. You just wait there. I'm just gonna run you around. Hiya. Uh, Beautiful. Where's the thing? Let's go over here. That didn't help me at all. <laughs> okay, we're climbing this. Looks like there might be a Korok on here. This is kind of the game, if I'm not playing, uh, or not recording, I'm obviously playing it, but if I'm not recording it for an episode, this is kind of what I'm doing. Just kind of wandering around. Ooh, what's this? Ooh, what's that? Ooh, let's see. Not doing anything important, or at least I'm trying not to do anything important, because I don't want to ruin it. I want to do it on camera, but these are the kind of things. Maybe I should climb that thing. Maybe I should look into that thing. Oh, it's just a chest. That's nice. What's in the chest? 
And who put it up there? Okay, nice Sheikah shield. Excellent. Okay, uh, we need to leave this place and get on the road to Kakariko, and that's way back over there. So, let's jump on Keen, and we'll start riding. We are at Kakariko Bridge in West Nekluda. Oh, man, there's stuff everywhere. Stuff everywhere. Oh, 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 oh. Watch yourself, buddy. You can get run over. The ruins are famous. No, it's a woman. You're here to see the sights, right? And let me guess, you want to see the chief of Kakariko Village. I'm right, huh? I hear she's an amazing leader who rebuilt the village. The folks there love her. Oh, but don't let me keep you. Kakariko Village is right down the road. Have fun. Thank you, Lorda. Okay. Who's the chief of Kakariko? Because it used to be... Oh, sorry. It used to be Impa. We need to have a uh, shrine around here, too, so we can fast travel eventually. Oh, this is where we first met Hestu in Breath of the Wild. It's very nostalgic. Remembering lots of stuff here, gang. Riding up this ridge, finding Kakariko for the first time. It's kind of the first... Uh, population center that we came across. Oh, I forgot there was a freaking... Hold on. At... Uh, it's probably not on the map. At Dueling Peak Stable, there was a... a great fairy fountain, I think. Oh, a drum? A drum? Is there an instrument? Oh. You hear that? It's coming from around here somewhere. Is that a drum? Oh. I'm hearing that then. Maybe it's the one I'm destined to walk through life with, calling to me in that way. But it can't be. It just can't be. Mm. I wonder where it's coming from. I've been scouting here for the source, but I haven't found it yet. I don't actually hear a drum. I do see a freaking dragon. And what the hell? What's going on with those birds? Is that just something we're not supposed to look at very closely? I think, maybe. Okay, uh, let's get to Kakariko. Okay. This has to be a shorter episode because I have a thousand things to do, so it'd be nice to actually reach Kakariko first. We're not even picking up these mushrooms on the way. Oh, man. Uh, you're here. <sighs> Mark this. Got to do all these things, man. Uh, that's a person that we need to talk to. Addison. We need to get to Kakariko. Go, horse. mushrooms. I'm going to have to come back down this road later and gather all this stuff. Talk to Addison. I need to go look at the Great Fairy Fountain near the Dueling Peak Stable and see what's going on with that. Oh, I remember this so well. Look at that. Kakariko Village, man. In West Nakluda. We're here. Bam. And there's a shrine right there. I guess that's probably the closest one. Let's talk to these people. Ah! We're hands on with ring ruins at last. I can't believe it. Ah. Um, Letty, this chunk is just a small piece of one of the ring ruins. Nothing much, really. Mm. Oh, that one's floating there. I mean, compared to the main sides like that ring ruin over there, it's broken in two, but you can still see the full ring. Mm. Well, we can't visit that one by order of Princess Zelda herself. No one's allowed to go anywhere near it. No one except Link, the legendary swordsman. So it's getting close up to this chunk here. So isn't getting close up to this chunk here something at least? We can sweep up some of the fragments and sneak them away. We got to study these ruins somehow, huh? Oh, uh, don't mind me. I'm just uh, uh, definitely leaving everything just as I found it. Wait, you're not with the survey team, are you? Uh, Phew, I thought we were going to get yelled at again. Uh, we really want to become members of the Zonai survey team. So we came here to study the ruins. Did you know that the ring ruins have been found only in Kakariko Village and nowhere else? That's why the Zonai survey team sent its specialists to examine them. We figured this was a great opportunity to learn all sorts of things. But Letty has been running all over the place to look at this and that, so we've gotten nowhere fast. 
Come on, I'm sorry already. But after we're done here, want to see the stone slab found in each of the ring ruins? Huge discoveries, they say. Okay, stone slabs. Naturally, let's, let's see how many of the five ring ru ruins we can visit to see those. Okay. Stone slabs, five ring ruins. Let's get up over here. Let's go over there. We need to get up here. So this is where... Man, things are a bit different. Oh, whoa, there's a Zoni device thing up here. Device dispenser. Yeah, I'm trying to remember... Remember there's an apple tree that you would, like, fly down... I think the original shrine was up around here somewhere. And yeah, it's it's hard to remember. Things look a little different. And now it's nighttime, so everyone's going to be sleeping. This must be where the Zonai, Zonai survey team have set up shop. What is this? Are these the ring ruins? Okay, I can't really do that. Uh, let's take a picture of this. It's kind of hard to, though. Let's see. That's not really very good, but let's just go ahead and capture that. Okay. Let's also do a self-portrait. Uh, how do we do that? X. Uh, okay, he can pose in various ways. Let's see. How do we do poses? Can zoom. Uh, are there different poses? Oh, okay. Down, up. <laughs> That's fun. Okay, so here we are in Kakariko Village with the ring ruins behind us. This is a nice picture. Beautiful. <laughs> okay, we will save that to album. Fantastic. Image added. Oh, so we have a Fire Breath Lizalfos horn. So that goes into our compendium. That's interesting. Okay, that's cool. Thank you. We need to do that self-portrait more often. Okay, let's see what's in this device dispenser. Nobody knows what this does here, probably. Yoink. Uh, no, we want... We don't want that. We don't want any of these things. We want to do by type. Yes, and we want to go to Zonai Charges. We have plenty of those. We will hold five. We will place them in the hopper. And we will get... I want one of those control sticks really badly. Give me the control stick. Uh, doesn't look like any of these are control sticks. Let's see, let's see what we got. Stabilizer. A perfectly balanced Zonai device that stands upright when activated. It was used to secure footholds in unstable places such as Sky Islands. Hmm. I'm sure we could find a good use for that. Big wheel. A big, a powered Zonai device that wants to move. It's a big mean wheel that excels at tearing through environments that might challenge smaller wheels. It can, ha it can also handle shallow water. Got a balloon... Okay, interesting. So the stabilizer seems strange. That's something that we might have to look into. So does this show us what we get here? Balloon, fan, big wheel, stabilizer. Okay, let's do one more. We'll grab another five. And we'll throw it in. Might as well, whenever we, saw, we find one of these device dispensers. Grab as many of the things as humanly possible. I still want the control stick really badly. All right, cool. We still need to get to that shrine, so let's do it. Uh, where are you? Tullin, for God's sake, sometimes he just doesn't show up. When I want him to blow me, he's not there. Blow me, Tullin. Blow me. Okay, there's a really good ring ruin. Okay, this is the Makasura shrine. Excellent. Let's get one more good selfie of Link before we end the episode. We have made it to Kakariko Village. It's a place I have wanted to get to since I first started playing the game. It's very nostalgic for a Breath of the Wild fan. Oh, look. Yeah, there are more uh, people investigating the ruins up there. Could we go here and get like a nice backdrop of the town? Not really. Let's do it here. This is a good one. This is a good place. Photograph. Self-portrait. Zoom out a little bit. Do, uh... Oh, they're trying to do Knight's Claymore. There we go. That's the picture. Hey, perfect. Okay, gang. Uh, 
nice. We got that added to the Hyrule Compendium as well. There's so many things that we could put in the Compendium. That's insane. You could drop every little piece of weapon, any kind of material. It's just ridiculous. We're probably not going to worry about that too much, but I should probably start taking pictures more often. But we're here at Kakariko Village, and in the next episode, we will probably explore it a little bit. But until next time, tell me to get him a little bit late. And who's the chief now? I'll see you later. Oh, look at all the gloom. There's a lot of gloom over there. Hmm. Ah, fortified pumpkins. Good, good. Nice.